in this video we will be using animate diff in comfy ui to recreate some of these animations to achieve the final look we are going to build this entire node from the top i will clear this to get started our first requirement is to download a workflow for animate diff inside github we are going to use a workflow by kosinka ding we are going to use the workflow here text to image 32 frames animation right click and save this to anywhere on your drive we are going to reload the workflow by hitting the load tab here look at my workflow i'll click on open opening up the workflow we can see we are missing a few nodes by seeing these red boxes and we can fix this by using the ui manager we come to manager we go to install missing custom nodes this will be the missing node for the workflow install this by checking this box clicking install we can see installing animates the default to apply we need to restart comfy ui and refresh the browser i'm also going to update comfy ui uh, once this is done, I'll close this. I'll also close this. Do we have to close this again? Uh, back in the directory, I'm going to run this NVIDIA GPU again to restart Comfy UI. Everything has been installed correctly. Well, I'm just going to hit Q prompt to see what we get from the default settings. We can see we are still missing some inputs from the specific nodes in Comfy UI. We don't have the models for Animate Div and also the checkpoint which was used is also not in my checkpoint list so what we are going to go for is the dreamlike checkpoint if we hit q prompt once again uh, we are missing the model for animate the loader to fix this we can do this in two ways option one can come to the ui manager install models we can search the model we are missing here uh, once i put this in here as in the specific model name click on search we can find it here i click install be patient once you click install because these files are a bit heavy installing from the ui manager uh, we click on close we click on close here option two um, on the hugging face page here we can see a list of all the models available here this mm versions are the models for animate diff and this v2 laura are the laura motion models on this page we can see the LoRa motion models, which helps us to animate the camera in Animate Step, which are the same checkpoints we have here for the LoRa motion. So we are just going to hit the download here. and the Comfy UI, we come to Custom Nodes. And once we have Animate Step installed earlier on from the nodes, now this is where we are supposed to put in both the models and also the motion LoRa's. So once I have my models downloaded, I'm going to paste them here. We can see we only have one checkpoint here because that was what we installed from the manager UI earlier on. Uh, we go back into Animate Diff Evolve. We click into the Motion LoRa and paste all the Motion LoRa checkpoints into this folder. We go back to Comfy UI, reopen Comfy UI, close the terminal to restart Comfy UI the right way. Run the B80 file once again to restart Comfy UI. We have everything installed now. We are still going to test by hitting the Q prompt to see if this is all going to run through. All right, so we come across another challenge here. We can see the highlight on the node here, which tells us where the problem is. What we are experiencing is to choose a motion LoRa. Uh, we can do a zoom in here, maybe an anti clockwise um, camera movement. Also, we are going to choose 14 which is my favorite as always. Let's see if we are still going to have any problem. I'm going to hit Q prompt. And now we are inside the case sampler, which means so far everything is good. And we just have to wait for the output. All right, so this is our default version and this tells us everything is now set in place. We are going to come to our checkpoint and we are still going to use Streamlight go into our motion lowers now we already have everything set up here and coming down here we're going to change our size to 512 by 768 we keep this at 32 frames we are going to use this prompt here inspired by our gta gran turismo and i'm going to provide this in the description and these are few versions developing the prompt of uh, nico as the character in gta so i'm going to copy the positive prompt uh, from my notepad paste this prompt into our positive and also i'm going to paste this here uh, control v. keep clip skip at default which is negative 2 ae loader we also keep this at default we come to the k sampler i'm going to push this to 30 
in our video combine, I'll keep this at eight frames. Prefix name, we can change this to GTA. We we'll just hit Q prompt to see our results from our prompt. All right, so this is quite interesting. What if we wanted to add a LoRa? This is the LoRa I want to use. Once you have this downloaded, put this into your Comfy UI directory. Another way is to direct Comfy UI to locate all your files from Automatic 11.11. To create a node, we can do this in two ways. We can either um, double click and we search the name, or we can also right click and we can add a node here. Double click here, I'm gonna search for LoRa. LoRa loader, select the checkpoint we wanna use, uh, GTA 5 artwork. And I'm gonna reconnect this here to the model as well. Usually the color is just a hint for me to follow up with where output and the input is supposed to be. I'm also gonna connect this back to the yellow connection. We have our LoRa connected. Our Q pumped again to see what this is gonna give us. Well, we can see from here our results from adding the LoRa. This is looking quite impressive. I'm very happy with this and I'm going to keep this to change the seed from fixed to random if you are not happy with uh, your generation. And what if we want to upscale this to a higher resolution and come to this page? We are going to find all the upscale models uh, we can use in Comfy UI. Click any of the upscalers you want. Download this here, paste this in our Comfy UI directory. If you don't want to put this here, open your YAML file, redirect your upscalers uh, from your automatic 11.11. So back in Comfy UI, we can start to build the upscale nodes. Double click, I'm gonna search for upscale. I'm gonna choose upscale latent by. Our second node, a K sampler. Double click, I search for K sampler. Our third node, I search for VAE. I'm going to look for the decode. Our next node is to put all of this into our upscale model, which we download. Double click again. We look for an upscale and from here we select the upscale model loader it's going to allow us to select any of the upscale models we just downloaded and we can just also drag this which is going to tell us uh, which node is best it connects itself we're gonna go for the outputs we don't need a save image because once we select the save image it's just going to produce frames for us to recreate this node double click and we are just going to search for the vh S combine. If you don't see the VHS combine, come into your UI manager, install custom nodes. Uh, I search for this, but make sure you have this installed. You close this, you double click, you search for VHS, and you are going to find this option here. After you install, you restart Comfy UI for it to show up. And this is going to convert our frames into a video. I'm going to change the prefix here to upscale. You can always go for any settings you want to choose here. We can't connect the VAE to the load upscale model if there's no input here. Always make the colors guide us to what we need to connect to each other. So the decode goes into the same image. I'm just reversing connecting the nodes, which sometimes I find more simple. We already have the VAE here. This is going all the way to the VAE decode here. Connect this all the way to this. Connect the colors once again, and the positive goes to the positive prompt. Uh, the negative goes to the negative prompt here, and the latent goes to the latent at a low resolution of 512 by 768. We want to take this in here to this, and from here, it's going to upscale this by 1.5. Our model is coming from Animate Diff Loader. And we can connect this twice to this K sampler. This upscale process is just by preference. Um, make sure you also have your K sampler matching up to the K sampler here. So if you have 30 steps, make sure your steps is also 30 here. Also with the denoise, we take it down to 0 0.8 because we don't want the upscale to change drastically from what we have. I'm going to hit Q prompt. This might take a little bit of time. Once you have your preview and you're happy, you can always move on to set up your upscale nodes. So I'll just fast forward this for us to see the outcome.
Alright, so once this is done, this moves to the case sampler. It's processing here as we can see to give us the final results which would be the high resolution. So this will be our final output, uh, both from Animate Diff and also using the Upscaler. And I'm quite happy with what we have and I'm going to keep this. We can either right click to save preview. We can save this to any of our folders. Uh, GTA. This is way huge. Uh, we can see this has been upscaled all the way to 3072. As always, don't hold back. You can always explore with other models for different outputs. You guys can let me know your thoughts in the comments. Smash the thumbs up if this was valuable. You may subscribe if this is your first time as well for more tutorials. And you can find out another way of animating in Comfy UI from the video on the screen now.